I'm going to do something a little different here. This is going to be a haul call. Bitch, where you get that? So, a lot of times here on my channel, I wear a lot of things in my videos. And a lot of you guys ask me, where the fuck did you get that? And I'm a person who likes difference and outrageousness and ignorantness and all of this good stuff. So, I'm going to go probably down like a good five or six things that I get asked often about what I'm wearing and whatever the situation is. And I'm going to use a couple pictures here as examples. So we're going to start off with this picture. This picture was a review for a wig and I wore this nice um, velvet uh, blazer and these glasses. So the blazer that I'm wearing is actually from the Balmain H&M collection. It is the woman cut blazer and that is a dark, dark blue. And I believe the retail price for that blazer probably was about $250. Because it's very well constructed. It has the nice gold buttons on it. Um, it fits me like a dream. And it's cut for a woman, but I got a smaller size because I don't have boobs. So it fit me great. And I just decided to not wear a shirt. I actually wore the exact same blazer for New Year's. But of course, I wore that with all of the stuff that actually came from... The Ballman collection. Except for those shoes. Those shoes were actually Giuseppe Zanotti. My belt was H&M for Versace. One of the most asked things that I've, I think I've ever got on my channel was about those glasses. Believe it or not, those glasses cost me $9 on eBay. Okay? So, we're going to put everything that I'm mentioning right now, a link to that will be below unless I just simply can't find it. But, overall, you'll be good. The next thing that I'm often asked about is my gold watch. Uh, this particular watch, which you probably can't tell, and gold iced out G-Shock, which I got as a gift. Oh, Lord. I think it was la the year before last Christmas I got it, and I've had it ever since. I actually got it off a site called Joy Fresh, and I brought it as a gift to myself. Um, for Christmas because I had did so much that year and I was like I really just want something that I love and this watch definitely is one of them. I am still a boy at heart and I love chunky jewelry and ignorant things like such so I had to get it but um, I believe that they it might be currently sold out but I will put the link below if you are interested in any way shape or form um, so you can actually get this watch. The next thing are these glasses that I am wearing, which are, I wore these for my I Wear Glam review. I don't know how long ago that was, a, that was like during the summertime. And I got everybody named my mom was like, where the, did you get your clear glasses from? I got these from uh, eBay as well. And I believe they were like $12. So I don't really scare. I, I, I buy expensive sunglasses because that's going to be my next thing, but I believe in saving for things like such. I would never pay over $20 for a pair of glasses like this because one, they're made out of plastic, and two, you can find them somewhere. So, I wore them here, which I thought that it looked great with my all the pink that I wore because I wore, like, I think it was the Wild Fox Barbie stuff, and I wore the pink. Um, but... They're comfortable. I like big shades. Speaking of glasses, my next pair are these glasses, which I also wore with my diamond virgin hair. I think it was my curly hair. And I also wore it in, wore this pair in Scream Queens. And um, these are my Porsche glasses. And I believe I have the biggest size. Now, I'll put that here because I don't remember what size they are. I just know they're huge. And um, I actually seen Rashida from Love & Hip Hop with these on and I did a little digging and a little bit of research because I just thought they were just dope and I'm one for aviators but every time I find them I find them they usually are a little small I like mine how those are they are huge um they come with two another pair of lenses which are like um a, like a darker color so you can use them as shades and those blue ones do actually shade but they're more you can see through them a lot so um, I believe they retail for about $300. So, from tw from $9 to $12 to $300. It's a big lip. However, if you're interested in those, by all means, kill them. 
So the next thing is I'm often asked about the sweatsuits that I love to wear on my channel because they're very comfortable and they're easy to put together and I can show my stomach, but I don't have to be completely naked. So I actually get these from, well, I'll tell you, this top and this bottom I got from Urban Outfitters. Uh, the, you know, they sell all the Calvin Klein stuff in one section. So I have this in the white and I also have this in the black as well. I haven't worn the black one yet though, but okay. Um, and I just think it's really cute when I, I just love to see, be able to see this up under the shirt. Um, but the actual sweatsuits that I get, I get them from Sorella Boutique, which is by Heather Sanders. Um, if you are currently in California at the Grove, she has an actual store that you can go in and try them on. Um, a lot of people are going to ask this question, I'm sure. Did my shirt come uh, cut like this? And it did come cut like such. It just wasn't cut as high. It was probably more about here. So I chopped it so that if I do this, you can actually see the Calvin Klein up underneath. Um, and I think these are usually about, the pairs are usually about $70. But here's a tip. Usually when she, it's any type of holiday, she usually has this 50% off sale. So when I got this one, I think a new white one, because I had wore one years ago um, and it was white, but it was made a little bit different than this one. I had got another white one. I believe I got a black one and I already had two red ones because I accidentally, um, you know, brought two on accident and they ended up shipping them. Uh, but I think I got all of them at some point i think the four i got with this one because i got this gray i think uh like a darker gray the white one and the black one i think it was like one it might have been like 160 something versus them being 70 dollars a piece so look out for that so if you're ever if you live somewhere where the climate is kind of hot and you want something that's gonna kind of keep you cute but yet it's gonna keep you know all of the good stuff Meh. It is. Um, but yeah, Cirilla Boutique is where I got these from. The next thing people are asking me is about this particular green army jacket that I have. And I've worn this, but I've never, I think, turned around. But it says Vogue 92 Winter on the back. And this is actually from The Rich, which they... They gave me something else. I have another jacket from them. Or I have some... Oh, I have a beanie from them that I wore years ago called... It had on a... It was white. It says, Ain't No Miley. Um, but that's where I got them from. They had uh, sent me this. And then I didn't get to wear it on Valentine's Day. But I still have it. So I'm going to wear it. Which is this one where it says... Instead of Happy Valentine, it says Happy Valentino. And um, yeah. I think this, this jacket... They actually have this really cute... One like this, but it's all this is gold. I really want it, but every time I go, it's sold out. So you know, so much for that. I don't have the jacket on me because it's actually in my car. But this jacket, which is my '90s R&B girl jacket, everybody and their mom have asked me about this jacket, and I haven't been asked about it. People tag me in it like you should so get this jacket. Well, I've been having this jacket for quite some time. And I actually got it from a shop called Kinship. And they make like, they have this like really dope Black Panthers jacket that I really, 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 really want. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm contemplating because my shop is getting out of hand right now, you know, just saying. But um, yeah, that jacket, I get the most compliments on. It has some of my favorite 90 R&B girls on it. Uh, it's well made. It's silk and it's lined in silk and the inside is pink and inside. Next thing that I get asked a whole lot has to do with my mouth <laughs> um, and more so my lips. What color combination do I use mostly when I do nude lips in my videos? Well, I use Max Chestnut Pencil and I use it to line my lips. And I have a tutorial on my everyday makeup routine so you'll see more of this in that. But I use... Um, the uh, liner is actually like a, a what is the lip liner to line my lips and then I use my Kat Von D Noble and which is my lip my liquid lipstick I use it in the middle and then I blot and then it usually starts to form this ombre look um, once I do it if I don't use the Kat Von D then I end up using 
my YSL uh, nude beige in the middle, which is more moisturizing because you know liquid lipsticks are just really, really drying. Um, but yeah, I think I covered most of the things that I'm asked about so far. So if you guys have anything else that you would like to know, um, where I got it from, or you're interested to know, I think I covered everything. Uh, I don't think I can wear my chain, which is from the swap meet, you know, got to keep it hood. But other than that, I don't think I, I missed anything um, that I'm currently wearing. My hair is I wear glam. This is my 34 inch. I forgot which origin of hair this is, but the review link will be down below if you are definitely interested in my closure. It's from Closure Store. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.